Okay, so on the stream after we did all the upgrades to the Ender 6, it was printing a lot better, but it wasn't perfect. I was getting step loss on the E. Now, we switched from the standard dual drive gear, non-geared extruder to a uh, Titan style, clone, whatever you want to call it, um, geared extruder with a 3 to 1 ratio. Now, this is the stock motor that comes with this printer. This is actually the same motor they use on the S5 bed. Now, these are great if you need a lot of torque, but you're not changing direction quickly. However, if we look at our extruder, you can see we do change direction quickly. So what was happening is because of how big this was and heavy this motor is to move, like there's a lot of mass to this motor and its spindle that actually rotates, we were getting step loss on quick retracts and extrudes. Now, this is exacerbated on a geared extruder because you have triple the steps, roughly triple, of a standard extruder. So when we went to this, it was Step Lost City, even with V-Ref lowered. So this is okay for the stock extruder, but if you're going to go to a geared solution like a Titan or a Tough Extruder, which is a Titan clone, or a Bontech or something that's geared, you really should go to a pancake stepper. See how tiny that is? Like, it's so adorable. Look at the size difference, okay? But that does a better job with a geared extruder than this massive thing. Um, I don't know why Creality even used this. They would have been fine with their standard size motors on the stock extruder. I don't know if they did this just to be like, hey, look how big our motor is. Um, yeah, but bigger isn't always better, guys. And uh, we got Fred the Frog printing here. I'm very happy with how this came out. I think the only thing I have left to do on this is the Neo strips in the front here for some lighting, and then the enclosure once we get the first version of that done. Now, whoop, speaking of lights, I am working on the mounting block here for the Easy Neos to mount these in the front of the Ender 6. So we're gonna put it at a 20 degree angle here. We're gonna make it use the hardware that's included with the Easy Neo strips and it'll put them at a 20 degree angle and mount them right, right here. So one on either side with T-nuts into there and then the strip will screw to the actual block. So really simple. You can then run your easy nail cable down in the channel here, all the way down into the base. So, and I'll show you when I get that done and those files will be posted for free. So you guys can use our easy nail strips on here. So anyways, just wanted to give you guys an update. She's up and running, she's running great. Glad I found the issue, it was driving me nuts. I'm like, why is this still losing steps? And I was like, you know what? I wonder if it's cause the motor's too big. Sure enough, that was the case. So anyways, thanks for watching. As always, happy printing.